Now to another troubling trend, an alarming increase in school threats. Just in the past month, we have seen at least three threats that have resulted in arrests. Those are just a few of the hundreds of threats made in our area over the past year. Only on 2 tonight, investigator Robert Arnold joining us live with insight from the Harris County DA's office on how these threats are being handled. Robert? Last school year saw such a spike in the number of threats, the DA's office started cracking down on these cases, both tracking the number and filing criminal charges against anyone who threatens students and campuses. With a new school year underway, we wanted to check back in with the head of the DA's juvenile division to hear about a new approach to this problem. We gave a game plan of how we were going to react this year. Head of the DA's Juvenile Division, John Jordan and other prosecutors visited 10 school district police departments before the bell rang on a new school year. What we wanted to do is do a lot on the front end. The point was to train officers on doing a more in-depth analysis of students accused of lobbying threats. Here's why. Last school year, the DA's office filed 216 criminal charges against kids lobbying threats. 88% involve first-time offenders, and half involve 13 to 14-year-olds. Jordan says the new approach is to better weed out cases of kids just saying something stupid without realizing the consequences. And we try and distinguish from that from a person who could potentially really cause a lot of alarm. Jordan says before charges are filed, they now want officers to look at a student's history of conduct, talk to their teachers and friends, find out if they actually have access to a weapon, even talk to their parents. It seemed to us that the parents were as mortified um, as we were. Still. Since the DA's office and school districts began cracking down on anyone making a threat, idle or not, the number of cases has gone down significantly. When they see their classmates going to jail um, or being involved in the criminal justice system and coming back and telling them that, maybe they were a little bit more careful about what they said. Jordan says in August, the DA's office only filed five such cases, and this month so far, only four cases have been filed. Reporting live from Southwest Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.